addiction is a prevalent issue in the Beltrami County area and the community wants to help. Brenda Mack tells us more about the latest resource center in Bemidji. I've been using since I was nine years old. And Chantel is not the only one who has walked this path. It was really lonely being an addict, like lonely and scary. You don't know who to talk to. That's the biggest thing, you don't know who to talk to or it's hard to even admit being an addict. Yet for some, that is still a barrier they can't seem to cross. The outside world thinks of addiction, well, if you just stop, if you just, this is a disease, you can't do that, this isn't a moral choice. But many community members are here to help. So if we're going to influence and if we're going to affect people suffering from this disease in our community, we have to act. From physicians to probation officers to county officials, the community came out in overwhelming support for Face It Together Bemidji, a citywide initiative to tackle addiction. We need to bring this disease out of the darkness into the light. This isn't shameful. The Sioux Falls-based organization is brought to Bemidji through a Nielsen Foundation grant of about $300,000. We're sick and tired of having people scared to death to access care for this disease. And here at this peer-to-peer -peer support center, recovery coaches who has first-time experience in addiction are there to guide you through it. It's kind of like you have somebody to walk with you. If you can effectively manage your disease, you will get well and you will stay well. And just simply walking through these doors will not cost you anything. We want to make this available. One of the huge barriers for people to get well is financial strains. Face It Together plans to work with area businesses to encourage a more accountable work environment. Tomorrow's world, employees, employees in Bemidji won't fear the consequences of coming forward because they'll know that their employer is a part of a solution. There are lots of work yet to be done, but the road to recovery can now begin. I'm proud of myself for being sober 15 months now. I've never been this happy in my whole life. In Bemidji, Brenna Mack, Lincoln News. Face It Together will officially open its doors tomorrow. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.